Hey everybody! Welcome back to Jeff and Adam Build a Zenith. Um, I'm Adam, and uh, as you probably know by now, my dad and I are building a Zenith 750 Cruiser in our garage. And today, in this video, what I'm going to do is something that I have been putting off doing for a very long time, which is uh, giving you guys an update on how things are going and stuff. And, um, well, there are lots of reasons for that. I mean, the, why I haven't been putting any updates or videos or anything like that on the YouTube channel. And uh, one of them is just because uh, it's just been, the past couple of months have just been pretty uh, slow in the building and uh, just kind of, we've just been d doing everything that we can just to not get too frustrated and overwhelmed with what we're doing. So, uh, anyway, but we'll get into that some other time, but right now, I just want to show you what we've got going on. So, uh, if I remember correctly, the last video, we had built the horizontal stabilizer, which will, unfortunately, need to be rebuilt because apparently there was uh, some sort of a kind of airworthiness directive deal thing that uh, says that if you're going to use the engine that we're going to use, which is, by the way, the uh, the UL Power 350 IS, that you need to uh, basically reinforce the... Uh, well, no, that's not really what it says. What it said was somebody who was using that engine so found that there was cracking in the uh, horizontal stabilizer. Thus, they said, okay, well, w let's make a kit so that you can reinforce it, and that's what they... That's what they did. So we've got the kit and we have not done anything with this yet, but we're gonna have to basically take the, all of the skin off, which is a lot of rivets, and then um, put it back on. So not super fun, but it's gonna be worth it to be able to use that engine. <clears throat> and then let's see, here we have, um, I've been, I haven't really done anything really, you know, past this part of the fuselage. Um, so we've got, I don't, if, in case I didn't show this before, we've got our some of our controls in place. Um, our aileron or flapper on controls here and um, the these little doohickeys that control that. Pretty neat. And then this little mixer mixer deal thing, and that, which this here is our flap motor. Not the greatest explanation, I know, but it'll do for now. And so anyway, here's the, what we've really been working on for the past few months now, and it seemed so simple, okay? So I'm just gonna let you know everything, everything on here that seems like it would be simple, it's not as simple as it seems, okay? So this part is the, um, I mean, I wish my lens was a, lot, a little bit wider. Uh, this is the cabin part, okay? So these uh, Longeron pieces go along that red line right there. In fact, at this point, I'll just put up a picture or a video or something of uh, when we had this connected, because we did have this attached to the aft fuselage. We had the cabin section attached, and it was pretty cool, because we had the uh, the frame. We got the frame here, and we had the frame on there, and we had the firewall on there, and it was the most, m the most like an airplane this thing has ever looked, which is really cool, very, uh, uh, very motivating. Um, but we we did have some problems with the gear channel. This is the gear channel. It's upside down right now. Uh, and this is what the gear, which is this thing over here, what the gear sits in, and uh, hence the term gear channel. And we had some issues with this, so we had to get a new one. And so we're kind of in the process of redoing this one. I'm actually uh, working on riveting these right now. You do have to rivet these from the inside, by the way. And our rivet guns uh, are, are too large to fit in here, you can see. So you have to use a hand riveting tool. Uh, and that one we got from Aircraft Spruce, by the way. That was the best place to get it because you need to get the special uh, head, the, the, the special rivet head for these uh, Zenith rivets. So that is what this is called, the Eclipse Spiralux, in case you're interested. We'll do another video uh, about tools someday. Um, anyway, so the gear channel, we're redoing the gear channel. That was a big headache, huge headache, because we thought we had it. And um, so basically, if, if you if you... If you haven't done your gear channel yet, you really want to put 
everything together, put the gear channel on the cabin section and then attach it and then attach the frame. And, or I mean attach the, t attach the cabin section to the aft fuselage and then um, and then then and only then do you want to insert the uh, the gear strut fitting so your wing strut attaches to this point right here and then this well this the, so the the gear channel would go right kind of where this cutout is and then this guy is well actually this is the wrong side but this guy goes up here okay and like that but you really want to make sure that you you don't um you don't match up the holes uh to to fit the to drill out the holes for these flanges here that go in the gear channel you don't want to mark those um, until you have everything actually like attached and in place because then you got to make sure that the um, that there's a flush fit on here anyway I'm getting into too much detail but basically that was the problem that we ran into and it was a big headache fortunately um, we're gonna be able we'll still we'll still be able to use these um, well actually that was kind of a separate thing I accidentally miss I miss drilled one of these holes but that's okay uh, we'll just add another bolt there <clears throat> so uh, the gear channel, yeah, big, uh, big pain. And um, the other thing with the gear channel, I am glad that we just decided to to get a new gear channel. There's the old gear channel over there um, because there were just a few issues. We we messed up a doubler, or actually we messed up a. That was part of the problem was the alignment. We messed that up, so we had to make a new doubler, and then and then there was some other stuff that we had to fix, and it it was just kind of getting to be where there's too much, too many issues with one part. Um, so that was one of the reasons why we swapped it out, and I'm I'm glad we did, even though it is a pain. It is a pain to uh, to have to do that, but a lot of these things are big pains. In fact, this whole cabin section here, it seemed like it would be so simple. Like to just, you know, just like, oh, okay, yeah, you just put these pieces on here and then, you, you know, you, you put them in the right spot and then you click with them and then rivet them. But no, 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 it's, there's, there's, a, there's a lot that you have to do. Like you'll have to, you know, put a part on, you know, just so that you can put all the other parts on and then mark everything and then take off the parts and then drill them and then maybe put another part on and then mark that. So it's, um... There's just a lot of putting on and taking apart, and uh, which is can be really, 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 really frustrating because it seems like it should just be, you know, like once you put something on, that's where it's going to go. But such is not the case, um, and that is part that is part of why, um, well, part of why I haven't been putting out videos and stuff because I've just been kind of frustrated, and I don't want to be putting out videos where I'm just frustrated. That's that's not fun for me. It's not fun for you. Well, maybe it's fun for you, you crazy people. But anyway. That's what we got going on. Um, yes, so we're working on that. Um, if you if you want more details about specific things, leave them in the comments below, um, and I will try to answer you someday, um, if I <laughs> if I can. And I'll just kind of give you a shot here to show you what this what this stuff looks like. I you know don't really. You can use this for reference for your own stuff, but. It's like I like to say, just because we do it doesn't mean you should. Hey, what's this thing? Would you look at this? This is a big cardboard box. And this is another thing that's um, update worthy. Look at this. What's this? Ooh. Actually, that's not the good part. This is the good part. Look at that. Ooh, look at that. Look at those curves. This is our cowling. And we actually we need to unpack it and make sure everything's okay. But this is the cowling. And the, um, which is the cover for the engine, and the engine, <clears throat> the engine mount right here. Um, and this is again for the 350, uh, the UL Power 350 IS engine that we're going to be uh, putting on here. And did I show you the? I don't remember if I ever showed you the um, the oh, firewall. This is the firewall. You probably have seen the firewall, but I'll just show you the firewall. That's what we got. Firewall right there. So we're gonna drill holes and stuff, put it like down here and like up here somewhere to mount the engine mount. The firewall was 
Well, no, it was more complicated than it seemed also. That's, that's basically my one piece of advice for you. If, if I could only give you one for uh, if you're thinking about building your own airplane is uh, everything is way more complicated and uh, it will take way more work than you would think that it would, which can, um, if you're not expecting that, it can be very frustrating. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we'll, in another video, we will, we'll, we'll talk about tools and stuff and, uh, and other, other things that I think I promised several months ago. Uh, but that's the way it goes, you know? That's, that's how it goes. Um, in any case, that's what we've got going on. I probably left some stuff out. Um, one thing I will say, oh, let me just show you this. So this thing, in case you are somewhere near the point that we are at, uh, Dad made this. It's just a table, and well, actually, there's. It's not. It's it's not as well. It's just, it's, it's it's a table, and it has the. He put these uh, these jack. Not the jacks, but these. Uh, I can't think of what they're called. These things. These jack stands on here, um, on this board, and so we put this right about here to hold up the fuselage, I mean the, the cabin, when we attach it to the fuselage. So I'll, I'll probably just show you a picture of that or, or video right about now. Oh, one more thing. Um, these guys, you know what these are for? These are for wiping your hands, right? Wrong! They're to keep your eyeballs from getting poked out because these things are pointy. Look at that. It's just looking for an eyeball to poke out. So we put these... Uh, I think we used to have bubble wrap on them, but we put these uh, rags over it just so that we can see where the uh, where the end of this um, laundron is, so that we don't get stabbed in the eyeball. Because it turns out that eyes are pretty important for airplane building. We uh, we drilled out these things. Ooh, gotta deburr those. Um, and oh, another thing was if you in case you're in the process of building your uh, aft fuselage right now, don't. Um, don't put too many rivets in close to the edge here because I had to drill this one out because I thought oh as long as we just don't put these ones in the edge we'll be fine but the thing is that this you need to be able to make a gap there to slide well to slide the gear channel once it gets attached to the cabin section you got to be able to slide that little lip in there and on both sides so that was something and then also here you got to be able to slide stuff into here as well. And that is definitely a two-person job, um, getting that cabin into there because it takes a lot of minute jiggling and, and uh, wiggling and, and shaking and all sorts of motions. So, okay, I think that's it. This, is, this video is way longer than I thought it would be. But um, that's, you know what? <laughs> that sounds like airplane building to me. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.